Welcome to Valixo. The purpose of this introductory video is to explain how to install Valixo and connect our first workbook to our ERP data. We can find the download links by navigating to the Valixo Help Center at help.valixo.com, selecting Getting Started, and then Download and Install. We need to choose how often we want to receive updates to our Valixo installation and download the corresponding installer. After downloading the installer, we'll open the file and follow the steps in the installer window. The installation takes only a few seconds. When complete, we'll click the Finish button and launch Excel. Once Excel is opened, we can see the add-in created a new Valixo ribbon in the Excel toolbar. Let's start by connecting to our ERP. In the Valixo ribbon, we'll select Connection Manager and then Add Connection. We'll enter a name for the connection. Each connection must have a unique name and we recommend that it be kept short because you will use this name often as you build your Valixo formulas. Next, we'll enter in the website URL for our ERP. I can copy this from the login screen of my ERP. We'll need additional information from this screen, including the tenant, as well as the username and password we use to log in. Let's go back to the Connection Manager, where we will paste the website URL. Once we leave this line, note that Vlixo automatically shortens it to just the part we need. Then we'll need to specify the tenant name of our ERP. If your ERP login screen does not show a tenant, you may be able to use company or you can contact your ERP administrator for the exact name needed. Finally, we'll enter the username and password used to log in to our ERP. By checking the Remember Me box, Valixo will remember my username and password so I do not have to enter it again each time I open this workbook. This information is not stored in the workbook, rather it is saved in an encrypted area on this computer. If our ERP is set up to use single sign-on with Valixo, we will see this button which we can use to configure a single sign-on connection instead of using a username and password. I will click Connect and save this connection to the workbook. After our connections are configured, you can see them here in the Connection Manager. We are going to stick with a single connection for this workbook, but it is possible to connect to multiple tenants and even multiple ERP websites from a single workbook. This allows us to easily consolidate data coming from multiple sources. At this point, we can begin creating our report and viewing our data in Excel. If you plan on creating multiple workbook reports, it may be a good idea to create an Excel template. The benefit of having a template is that when you create a new workbook, you will already have the connection information configured. To do this, we select Save As from the File menu, change the file type to Excel Template, then enter a name for the template and click Save. And then I can arrange for that Excel template to be listed in the list so it's available automatically. Now that we've created our first connected workbook, we can explore some basic functions in the next video.